Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Envoy's Longhorn, a great hammer with optimal scaling in faith, but does still get very good scaling from strength. So what I did was I went to 40 faith and I poured the rest of my points into strength for the damage output. It netted me a much higher AR than if I just went the pure faith route and went minimal strength. Especially when two-handing, you get a lot of physical bonuses when you two-hand the weapon. So I feel like this weapon is definitely a good balance between strength and faith. And then we have our usual 60 vigor and the minimum endurance needed for the entire setup for the showcase. As for the choice of talismans, my first talisman slot is my swap around slot, so I do use the ritual shield talisman to boost my defense at the start, and then I swap it to whatever I feel like I'm going to use for the weapon. So this time I'll probably swap to the claw talisman to enhance the jump attack. And then we have the shard of Alexander to boost our beautiful bubble shower. Yes, it's extremely slow. Has some AoE to it though, so maybe you can zone your opponent with it. I'm really intrigued to see how well it's going to perform in the duels. I don't know if I will land it, but I'm going to try my best because it's beautiful. And then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion Plus 2 for the HP boost and the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset, it is a Great Hammer, so it does get the standard two-handed vertical light attack chain. It gets the Horizontal Slash, followed by the secondary Horizontal Slash, which I really do enjoy. The animation on it looks like you're batting away your opponent. The Jumping Light, the Horizontal Slash, the Jumping Heavy, the Vertical Slam Down. You know by now, but I do really enjoy Jumping Lights. Really easy to manually aim. Good for roll catching. You can delay it towards the end of the jump. Catch your opponent off guard. The running light, the vertical slam, and the running heavy, the upward strike, which I really enjoy. I feel like it comes up pretty quickly. The delay on the attack causes your opponent to roll first, then maybe you can get the roll catch afterwards. Overall, though, it's not really unique. It does have the standard moveset of the Great Hammer, so there's nothing really interesting about this weapon, I would say, except for its Ash of War, which isn't the best in performance, I'm going to say ahead of time, just because of how slow it is, but I'm still going to try my best to make it useful. The dual wield moveset is there for us for the burst damage though. We have the jumping L1 when paired with the claw talisman which does very good damage output. You get the running L1 for the roll catches and the backstep running L1 as well to catch your opponent off guard. And you also have access to the one handed moveset which honestly I think is just great with the great hammers. Comes out really quickly. The manual aim on the R1 is great for tracking. The one handed running attack as well as a horizontal attack so I feel like you can mix that in pretty well with the dual wielding attack set to catch your opponent off guard. But yeah that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first battle, we have Quintonius. Hello, Quintonius. With a great axe. Got the cleaver. Alright, get our buff going here. We're going to be sounding the horn real soon, Quintonius. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I don't want to do it right away because that's pretty obvious, right? I need to cause some sort of opening, but I do want to land it, so... Oh, good hit. Wasn't expecting that. Um, what can we do to boost the damage? I guess I can do a little bit more jump attack damage. Follow up. Into the horn. <laughs> okay. It is a little bit on the slow side. I'll say that much. No. <laughs> we are surely left vulnerable there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, great R2. A delayed one. I wasn't expecting that. That was an interesting hitbox. Oh, okay. Still really powerful jumping L1s on the two wheeled great hammers, though. That's a, that's a fail on landing the Ash of War, though, sadly. Moving on to our next opponent. Moving on to our next opponent, we found Risk Breaker Alma. Hello, Alma. It's interesting to see you. You've been in a few showcases, although I'm recording these pretty late. Interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get your buff. Yeah, I get the lightning going. I'm gonna be attempting to land some bubbles. All right. Now we'll see. It we'll see. <laughs> I wish there was a way to speed up certain ashes of war, but obviously they'd be very powerful for other weapons. So I see why it's not a thing. Obviously, it, it would be it would be all in all pretty fun though. No bubbles landed. <laughs> so sad. Roll catch? I was a little bit slow on that. What about this from up close? Can I manually aim it? Ah, uh, no, sadly. I could not. Backstep running attack. Good dodge, Alma. Oh, rough trade. I think it was decent for us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm trying my best. Maybe I'll land it. Maybe I won't. But I'm going to damn try. Oh, <laughs> I landed it. Sort of. <laughs> Amazing fight, Alma. Great timing on the attacks, actually. I tried to punish a lot, but we ended up trading 
Good timing. Up next, our opponent is Frogman. Hello there. How are you, sir? You got the Colossal Sword? Alright, let's get our buff going. Uh, my, my, my duding here marks the beginning of the fight. I'm gonna pop that, though. Alright, you get your buff going. I'm gonna dude. I'm not gonna dude. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can we do here? We have amazing aim, you and I. Alright, this time for sure. Oh, if you go under it, you dodge it. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to make this useful. None are coming to mind. That's funny, I was actually debating doing a jump attack there. All oh, pretty anime rolling right underneath me. I like it. Oh, no roll attack that time. Okay, the spider webs. I dodged the spider webs. Oh, I almost jumped into that. And Endure can be pretty useful that way. Oh, I do love the horizontal swings of the one-handed attack pattern. Oh, cutting it close. All right, you will face the bubbles. <laughs> or not. <laughs> All right, very fun fight, man. I will end this Ash of War properly. <laughs> Moving on to the next battle, we have Alandon. Hello, Alandon, or Alandon. Hey! Wielding a holy greatsword. All right, you got your hey! golden greatsword. I got my golden horns. Who will win the gold wars? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. You have an offhand incant. I do have to watch out for that. Ah, for the rock throw, yes. I could do that as well if it comes down to it. <laughs> but I don't think I will. I want to land my bubble. That's really all I want. You have your rocks. Face the bubbles. Uh oh. Ah, I'm out of range. <laughs> nice. That's a win. I'll take that. <laughs> you couldn't punish the bubbles. Ow. Those rocks. They really do be catching me off guard. Jump back attack. Oh, no. That stuns too quickly. R1. L1. Miss. Miss. Okay. I'll dodge the rocks now. Now I'm, now I'm accustomed to how often uh, they're going to get thrown at me. Yes, there we go. I won. Rock throw next. Oh no, no rock throw. Interesting. Oh. Now rock throw. No. I won. <laughs> that is definitely. No, he's just in time. I didn't get punished too hard for that. Back. Oh boy. Okay. Rock throw. There. All right. I want to finish this with the bubbles, but I, I highly doubt. What about a close range bubble throw? We dodge. Oh, that's the red lightning. We're going to watch out for that one. That can definitely do some serious damage. Next next, next cast, we're just going to throw an urn, though. Follow up. Follow up. Follow up. <laughs> urn throw. Oh, <laughs> the rock throw beat my urn throw. Follow up. Follow up. <laughs> He's ready. Follow up. Follow up. <laughs> oh, beautiful backstab. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. To be honest. Not at all, Allendon. You're bringing it back right now. Honestly. I like it. <laughs> the rock throw. You know what he's not going to expect? My rock throw. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> One fight. I, I put that on the build just for the people that use so much of the bestial sling. I thought it'd be pretty funny to end the fight with it. Heading into our next battle, we have Fard. Alright, Fard. What do you got for me? Oh, you have the beast great hammer. Okay. Interesting. We're both wielding some great weapons. That Ash of War is really cool, honestly. It has really good AoE. I feel like it has good potential. Especially if no one's expecting it. I have seen this weapon a few times now, though. In the showcase. Oh. I think I could dodge it. I don't think I have time to backstab it, though. Maybe I would if I rolled towards it. Like that. Yeah. Oh, what about... What about Bubble Blow Wake Up? <laughs> Go get him, Bubbles! <laughs> No, <laughs> I tried. 
Man, it's hard to land the bubble blow. It really is. <laughs> yeah. I like how we're both having some fun with some good ashes of war. Well, I mean, interesting ashes of war. Very fun fight, Fard. I love the build. Moving on to the final battle, we have Long John Jesus. Hello. Rockin' the Int build. I have the Faith build. Alright. Get your buff going. Now, you have the long range. I have the long range. Mine's kind of a meme. <laughs> I, I think you can tell. <laughs> that was some good spacing. Oh, no. You shouldn't have. I did so much ja like damage. Just 1,100 damage right there. Pretty crazy. Oh, and then the delay. It, it even popped the bubble tier, I think. But still finished. Wow. Fun fight, Long John Jesus. Sadly, no bubbles were landed. But let's just see if we can do it in the invasions. Heading into the first invasion, we're in the mountaintop of the giants. And we've invaded Vagabond, Xena. Hello, Vagabond. Hello. Yeah, you got the buffs here ready. You got a twin blade. Any friends out here? Or is this just like a battleground for you? Let's go. Um, we have a twin blade. Oh, with the R2, I'm guessing. So they want to do the beautiful R2 trade. We did get one hit off there. Oh, that comes out pretty quick. That doesn't come out pretty quick. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Oh man, I try, I try. I don't know how lucky we're going to be in landing that, but... Oh, beautiful running R2. No roll catch. <laughs> I also have to be careful with the... Well, the, the stamina uses, to be honest. Oh, good use of the R2 though. It does come out very quick. It's just... I have the timing down to dodge it. Oh, the axe. Oh, yeah, that, that buffs the R2 as well. That's right. <laughs> I don't see it in the cards for me landing the bubble blow. <laughs> Very fun fight. Very interesting, actually, having the axe to buff it on the back and then using the R2 with the twin blade because it's pretty quick. Interesting build idea. Heading into the second invasion, we're in the hidden path to the Hallig tree. Oh god, hello there, Marge. Run into my bubbles. Juniper, ow. Threw two of those knives at me. I know there's a secret. I kind of want to risk it and take the battle to that secret battleground. It would be awesome. I don't know how well it will go, though. As I don't know <laughs> the actual way. Oh, what is this, Octopus of Doom? Hello. L1. That guy loves his poison knives. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can use this to my advantage. Bubble blow. Oh my god, oh my god, I landed the bubble blow. Amazing. This is, this is my time. <laughs> okay, I'll cure the poison. Oh no, that actually finished off Marge. Oh my god, I landed the bubble blow. That's all I wanted. Go get them, tentacles. <laughs> well, this was an interesting battleground. Moving into the third invasion. I'm in the subterranean shunning grounds. He thinks I'm AFK. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. AFK strat. <laughs> I love that he was sneaking, but no, I was the sneak. <laughs> Hello there, Crusher, how are you? Face the bubbles. <laughs> oh, I'll get hit by one of the bubbles. That's right. Jump into them, yes. Oh, I'm getting pulled by that, but I'm not gonna die to that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will honor you with a dude. <laughs> Even though that's not what ended you. Heading into the final invasion, and I'm in Limgrave. Very rare, especially this area. 
Alright, I think they're nearby. I think I saw some movement over here. Yeah, wait, are they by the grace point? Hello! Wait, is it a lone host? Lord Oberon. Uh, lone host? Parry practicing? Oh my god, that thing does no damage. So. Nice, beautiful parry. Uh, why is that other knight just watching? <laughs> All right, Lord Oberon, now face the dude. <laughs> oh, so it can do some damage. Okay. Is that all gonna get blocked by that wall? That's a magic defense. I'm doing holy damage. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> Face my bubbles. Yeah, that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Some incantations. I like it. You keep buffing that, but you haven't used it yet, really. My bubbles. <laughs> Face the bubbles. Oh man, the buildup on that is so low. Wow. That is funny. Honestly, it's bad. Just run across from that as well. <laughs> it's like a death build. I'll take that trade. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure who's got it worse. <laughs> the play build up or the, or the bubble blower. Although, hey, I landed it and did a thousand damage with it. I'll, that's a win. I'll take that. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Envoy's Longhorn. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. This weapon was one of those comments I really appreciated. It reminds me of weapons that I have yet to use, so I'm thankful for all the comments. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.